Williams, the Oak Start, has a great record for producing top-class race horses bought by all the leading stables. In 2023, they're standing not only Darcy Brahma, who has such a consistent record of producing stakes winners, but also the regally bred US Navy flag. This draft offers such versatility in terms of the stallions and the pedigrees to choose from. It's wonderful being back in New Zealand and, and seeing so many old friends and I think a lot of the Australians in particular will feel that coming back to Caracas in 2023. It's, it's been a while between trips, hasn't it? It certainly has, I think, for we New Zealanders. I had my first trip to Australia in July and caught up with a lot of trainers. We have a number of horses and work there and um, yeah, I think they're all looking, looking forward to coming back to New Zealand. We're certainly looking forward to seeing them all again. Oh, it's been great seeing Darcy Brahma, you know, your stalwart now, he's really continuing to fly the flag. Sierra Sue winning the Futurity in Australia in 2022, Cinerama, a multiple group winner, Darcy LaBella, a group two winner at Trentham in December. And of course, US Navy flag has been with you a couple of years and there's plenty happening for him in the Northern Hemisphere too. He's made a good start up there and he obviously had a very classy filly in, uh, in America that ran in the Breeders' Cup, started favourite, unfortunately didn't perform that day, but he's making a nice solid start here. Uh, I think the autumn will tell with him, but it's been great to have him here for two seasons. Darcy Brahma, of course, continues. I think he's fourth on our premiership again with, and as you say, he's had Cinerama and Darcy Labella this year and Sierra Sue in Australia. And uh, we've got a bigger than normal racing team and a heap in them, Darcy. So I think you'll see hear a lot more of them this autumn. Well, looking at the Oaks yearlings for Caraca 2023, we start with lot 496. This is by Al Manzor from Sea Goddess, this filly. And this is a granddaughter of your, your absolute champion, Sea Change. And she's just so chilled, isn't she? She just has this magnificent temperament. She sure has. She, she reminds me a lot of Sea Change. She's not quite got the length of most Al Manzors, but he's a horse that's profiling up, and I hope he's one of the next big stallions for New Zealand. But she's a lovely move, a nice horse. Yeah, we'll have a reserve on her. Next was lot 533. Mm -hmm by Magna Grecia from So Lyrical. Uh, this filly, of course, is by an uh, English 2000 Guineas winner who's by Invincible Spirit. And it's the family of an Irish 2000 Guineas winner, of course, Bachelor Duke, who uh, stood here and a gorgeous action, a nice sort of light walk as well. Again, a really lovely filly. Yeah, Magna Grecia is a horse that we've used a bit out of Coolmore of, for obvious reasons. And uh, the, the mayor's been rather unlucky. And as you say, it's Bachelor Duke, Sadler's Wells family. And uh, I hope this is the filly to change your luck. Lot 49 is by, so you think, of course, the runner-up in the Australian Champion Sires title last season. This filly's from Aurora Lights. She's by Darcy Brahma. She was placed in a New Zealand Oaks. This is just a lovely classic filly, and we know what So You Think has been doing right around Australasia. Yeah, he's a stallion also I've used a lot, and we've got two or three young ones by him. We've retained three-year-old and a couple of two-year-olds, so we've got to sell some, and unfortunately this is one of the ones. But yeah, Aurora Lights was a lovely filly and a full brother based in both the South Australian and Queensland Derby. So it's a staying family, a nice family, and we do like the filly. Lot 259 is a colt by Darcy Brahma from Italic. This mare's worked so well with Darcy, including a, F a Flemington group winner, Paint the Town. Yeah, Paint the Town raced in our colours. She was a very good mare, came from here, and Bevan Lamming trained her. It was Jamie Carr was a perfect ride that day. Cursive and right descript have been raced by a couple of mates of mine from Mildura, dentist mates, and they're very good horses. Cursive and right descript one, two from three. So unfortunately, Colic. Hopefully we'll get those boys into this one. And lot 572 is another by Darcy Brahma from surreptitiously. Now the dam's done a great job, hasn't she, with five to race for five winners, including the group one winner, Saki Soldier. Yeah, lovely horse, Saki Soldier. I sold him for about 60,000, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mr. Croissant, Dragon Master, have both done very well in Hong Kong. This fellow's bigger and stronger than anything the mayor's left. He's He's my top colt in my opinion. I, you know, I can see a market correction coming up at some stage, but I think New Zealand will do well. I think the, the value is still there. I think the Australians in particular will be keen to get back. And we've had some wonderful results over the last 12 months.